Hello friends, good morning. Yesterday we did part 6 of being a homeopathic specialist. Actually it was part 7. So today it's a part 8 of being a homeopathic specialist. Yesterday we studied about the aggravation in homeopathy and what should be your answer. Today we will study about the dealing with the cases and explanation of your cases and the scientificity of a homeopathy. You see homeopathy was discovered almost in almost 200 or 250 years ago. At the time the word allopathy is coined by Dr. Samuel Henneman to that existing system in those days whereby the allopathy that we say today is not the allopathy of the days of Neiman. Today the allopathic system is the modern scientific medicine. That's the real name for them. So the allopathy when Neiman says is a different thing and today is a different. Over the period of time we find the science has advanced by leaps and bounds. We know so many things about anatomy, physiology, pathophysiology, biochemistry. But do you think that our science is outdated? Do you think Hanuman is outdated over the period? Many of the people do think like that. But our science is not outdated. You have to find the scientificity of your science in today's language. Only the language is different. You see, even today we find many of the diseases, they have homeopathic medicines. And we are treating all those autoimmune disorders and all these things. That is the reason you are not outdated. And even Hanuman was far ahead of a science. Only the means of expression of a science were not there. But so many things that he has discovered that can be implemented or that can be explained in today's modern scientific way. A small example I will give you for that. A little story in 1920 when the antibiotics were discovered then there were 40 homeopathic colleges in America and only two allopathic colleges so that day all the homeopathic colleges were closed and they were turned into allopathic colleges in a view that this system is no more needed now they have got a new scientific drug that can treat all the disorders and surprisingly in, the, in those days infection was very common and very prevalent and it did control the infections because of an antibiotics but you see 1970 WHO did a study and they found that all the disorders that are due to infection has been controlled but there are disorders of systemic disorders autoimmune disorders and these disorders do not have an answer or a sure drug. Even today, they are treatable, not curable. But they found that there are certain alternative systems. They call it alternative now. That is homeopathy, Ayurvedic, Siddha, Yunani. All these systems and other Chinese medicine, Chinese herbal medicines. They treat, the, they treat these disorders over the period of time. And they have really good results in that. But these sciences and their explanations are before the modern scientific era. So we need to study these sciences in the light of modern scientific era. And some institutes were lucky to uh, lucky that WHO found that homeopathy is most practiced and there are very good doctors in homeopathy in India, Moro in Calcutta. So National Institute of Homeopathy in Calcutta was established to study the science in the light of modern modern science, to study homeopathy in the light of modern science and find out its scientificity. And really, it's a very good step the WHO have done and I am lucky enough to study in the Institute National Institute of Homeopathy. So anyway, what is our point today is that whenever you find, you just study the modern science and you try to acknowledge your science with the modern science and there will be a lot of things you will find that even Hanuman was a time ahead and he explained it so many things that is in immunology when I was studying in NIH one of my professors of immunology said that the experts or the, your aphorisms are quoted in the journal of immunology 
and what he speaks is really an important thing that he has done he has done so many things someday we'll discuss about it, that how he was ahead of a time so that is a thing so you study your homeopathy study the modern science and speak the language for example if you go in japan and speak in english or in your hindi language will these people understand no you need to study the japanese and speak in japanese so in order to prove or in order to improve your science or in order to get the credibility or acknowledgement from the modern science you need to speak in the language of modern science and this what i did since day one in my practice for the study of my science i study everything that is the vital force all these things the medicines but whenever it comes to explaining your cures you should use the modern language that i use and definitely you will get a good name and fame in this so this is very important how to explain so anyway we'll deal all these things in your future lectures but now i will say that whenever you study some cases whenever cases comes to you maybe a diabetes has come maybe hypertension maybe the asthma cases has come all these disorders have a good results in homeopathy and people know it so whenever they come to you just make this scientific record and speak scientifically <clears throat> so today if anybody asks me about psoriasis i speak what the modern language tells i use the modern scientific standards to prove that i have cured the psoriasis i just don't say that i have cured the psoriasis means they, they never got it rather a small example i will give you if i say uh, that i cured psoriasis what does it mean that there are patients who are not taking my treatment and after even discontinuing my treatment for more than 10 years they are free of psoriasis this is the way i explain i don't say that it is cured permanently it's what we say in homeopathy permanently i just use the scientific data scientific language that i have the records i have the records of the patient who have been taking my treatments for 10 years 15 years and i am in touch with them and they are free of psoriasis that much i talk i don't talk that it is completely cured or it will never come back no not that way so it may be back of your mind you it may be your aim the highest ideal of cure is an ideal to be achieved it is not yet achieved so ideal is always to be achieved and you may not get that ideal 100% but you are achieving towards you are doing that and whatever you achieved you tell the people suppose i treat 100 cases of psoriasis and i say all 100 or 95 of them cured it is not scientific the scientificity says that 30% of the cases that you treat are not having the medicine there the placebo effect so when you take 100 cases of a certain disorder and if you prove that more than 30% 40 50 60% of the cases are cured or treated well by you it means the it is the effect of your science you may not be able to explain it exactly how homeopathy works but creating a data scientific data and proving it that it has worked that is more than enough for you and that is what needed so whenever you take the cases you find it don't over judge or don't over promise be scientific be you use the scientific methodology research methodology and in that research methodology you do that that way you will be accepted scientifically around the world by the scientific doctors and definitely our name of homeopathy will be bright you speak your own homeopathic language nobody will understand so i always urge you to speak the language of modern science for example regarding my cases i say that according to the modern science if one is taking a treatment and one is if i claim that i cured a patient he should be without homeopathic medicine for one and a half year and his psoriasis should not return this is a challenge or this is a standard of a modern scientific medicine and i do follow it and i prove it that without a medicine i have the records of each month for a whole one and a half year and all these photos explain that i have treated these cases without medicine 
I discontinued the medicines and psoriasis does not return. And that does not go to one and a half year, that goes to two years, three years, four years, five years, ten years. And I have maintained these records. That's why I have the proofs that I am treating a psoriasis and my medicines are effective. And they are more than 30%. That is not a placebo effect. I it should be, if it is less than thirty percent, person you may not, not be able to say that it's, it's uh, scientific reason. Even they claim it that it, there is a thirty percent placebo effect. So in order to have the scientificity, you need a large number of cases of a single disease treated and taken record, and the cases that you fail, you should include those also. If anybody says hundred percent, it's a sure doubt that he's lying. There are cases that I do have the cases that definitely I do not treat it. I could not treat it. it I am a SORS specialist. It doesn't mean that I treat all the cases. I do have difficulties. I do have different methods of treatment. Primary method and then advanced method and again super advanced method. If go to the difficult cases that I fail initially, I have to study hard. I have to retake the case. I have to do so all these things. So all these things are necessary and you should honestly express it and you should observe it and you should be very pretty clear about it and homeopathy will never let you down. If you follow these things, you will never be let down. Don't have some inferiority complex or all these things. You will prove it. Have that confidence. Study hard and definitely I will give you one by one clues of talking to the patients, talking to the doctors, talking in the scientific conferences that you will be accepted and that is the way we can really um, explore our homeopathy and we can have a name of homeopathy um, in the modern area and you see, you see I really uh, predict that homeopathy has a very great future if you scientifically, if you methodically, if you practice it. There is really large scarcity of good doctors, scientific doctors. People are searching for it. Be the one, be the specialist. Thank you.